This is a MidCom 671-1538 600 ohm to 600 ohm isolation transformer. I will be checking the performance of this transformer. Here is the data for it. It's a bit elusive. It's this flat frequency response. 600 ohms, primary and secondary. And they tell you the frequency response is about 4K. This typical frequency response is 300 to 3K. Eh, that's great for communications, but it doesn't do anything for the rest of fidelity. I thought I'd give this a test then. This is a real brief test setup of what I've done, what I've used on this transformer. First of all, I determined that start with 1.74 volts peak be twice the voltage for peak to peak. But Okay, so using this reference here for our audio level, we'll be looking at plus 4 dBU, which is line level, professional, 1.736. That's at peak level. Of course, peak to peak would be twice that. Well, we'll just be dealing with peak as we're dealing with symmetrical uh, sine waves here. So 1.736. And in our test setup, we have 1.74 volts peak. Here's the frequency I chose to use at that level, 40 cycles or 40 hertz. You can see there my button is pushed for times 10, so that's 40, 40 hertz, and this is the sine wave we're getting. You can see it's slightly bent there, so there's a, there's a little bit of distortion there, uh, but that's probably considered acceptable at, at 40 hertz at that level. Now just to verify it, what I did, it's kind of hard to see this one, but uh, anyway, again, having a peak voltage 1.74 and a frequency of times 10, 35 hertz. You see it gets very severely distorted right there. This would be the acceptable frequency of 40 hertz at um, professional line level, as we've seen. And you can see it starts to look pretty good. 40 hertz, that's not bad. Now we come down here to the third slide and we see um, again 1.74 the sine wave looks excellent. And over here we see the, the test frequency was a 10 kilohertz so 10 times 4 is 40k, 40 kilohertz. This transformer sweeps out quite nicely even up to from 40 to 40k. And here's the test setup I use. This is the schematic and here's the transformer again that's the MidCom 671-1538 and I used a 600 ohm to set the impedance and a 600 ohm termination out here at Tektronix 2445 oscilloscope. So now let's have a look and see it, what it does in real time. So here we are starting with uh, 40 hertz times 10 and we'll do sweeping. Now I'm using times 100 at 100 hertz. And we'll look at that. We'll sweep it to 1K. Starting at 100. Okay. Times 1,000. We'll start at 1K and sweep up to 10K. Just the scope. There's 10K. 10K, we're starting again at 10 kilohertz where we left off and we'll sweep up to about 40K. There is 40k and we see how it starts to roll off after 40k. That's about 100k right there. Let's see, but if we bring it back to a comfortable level, there is 40k and it's still within the 1.74 range. So the MICOM 671-1538 here is an excellent transformer. 600 to 600 ohm and you can see the, the size of it. 
and get that for and I got mine for two dollars seventy five cents each at this company all electronics it says it's a data voice coupling transformer but this clearly does plus four dBU from 40 Hertz to 40 kilohertz it's a great transformer for 600 ohms